Drake, you might need to pull out Russell and Sierra, cause these is talking greasy. Drake? What did Drake do to these niggas? What did he do to them? Now today, we gotta get out our magnifying glasses and we gotta be really looking into this clip. Cause the other day, Travis Scott, he came out with Metro Boomin and uh, Future during Rolling Loud, right? And this is some footage that they didn't show on YouTube. But I need y'all to really look at what Travis Scott is doing in this video, all right? Pay close attention. Man, I need that. Man, I'm off. I'm trying to. Okay. These niggas high as hell. Hey, Metro. Yeah. I need you to get over Pluto one time, man. We got to make this a movie. You know what I'm saying? What's that? What's that? What's that? Look how them niggas talking. See, if you don't know, Travis is trying to get Future to play like that. The Kendrick verse. Like I said, this is three, four days ago. So that means Travis Scott, he knew about that Kendrick verse, and he was trying to get Future and Metro to play it at Rolling Loud. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You want the album right now, nigga? You see Future saying, you want the album right now. He like, hold on, nigga. We got to wait till it drop. We, we can't play that right now because that's the standout record. Everybody checking out We Don't Trust today. Um, we Don't Trust You, my bad. They checking that album out today because of the Kendrick verse. And, of course, the Cardi song is good, too, the Playboy Cardi song. But that Kendrick verse got everybody talking. And so Future saying, hold on, slow it down. We can't give them all of that. You see Metro in the back saying they gotta wait on that one. Now this is crazy too, cause Travis Scott he loved to jump off some shit. This nigga he jumped off one step. Can we rewind that? Rewind this shit. This nigga jumped off one step. Like, the song had him so giddy. He was so excited about this Kendrick verse. Nigga was jumping off one step. Look, pay attention. Hold on. You see, that nigga didn't drop from nowhere. He he, he jumped off one step. I, I can't make this shit up. I got it. The new one. Nah, you got that. All right, just play the one you got, and we're going to cut it after the hook. We're going to play the album, nigga. Now he said we gonna play it, but we gonna cut it after the hook. And look at how Travis geeking. You know he heard this verse. You know he heard that Kendrick verse. You know he heard that shit, bro. Like I said, this three days before the album came out, y'all. And that is diabolical. So that means, see, Kendrick talking about niggas clicking up. That means, look, this means Future and Metro, they was clicking up with Travis. Like, look, look, listen to this. Listen to this. Look what Kendrick said about this nigga. Look what Kendrick said about these niggas. See, it ain't just Drake. It's J. Cole, too. But when you look at the relationship between Drake and Travis Scott and the relationship between Drake and Future and the beef that Drake had with Metro Boomin a few months ago, it's really all surrounding Drake. J. Cole didn't just caught it straight. Now, if you a real hip-hop nigga, and you a real hip-hop fan, and you care about this rap shit, you need to go watch what I said about that Kendrick verse and what I said about this We Don't Trust You album. I did 20 minutes. Go check that shit out. Because, nigga, we get into some real rap conversations. I see a lot of people upset about what I said about Big Sean. Go check it out. But if you watching this video and you saw that video and you mad about that Big Sean shit, nigga, eat it. I'm from Detroit. It hurt me to say that. But that's just facts. But here's the issue. We need answers. Because I get why Kendrick was going at Drake. Remember in the verse, he talked about Prince outliving Mike Jack. So Kendrick is trying to solidify himself as Prince. Okay, Drake might be Michael Jackson. He might have the commercial success. But niggas who really know rap, they know I'm a better rapper than Drake. That's Kendrick's fight. 
And that's what he thinks. Now, that don't mean that's what I agree with. Y'all know Drake is my favorite. I do think that Drake is better or just as good as a rapper than Kendrick. I feel like they do th different things, but I feel like Drake has bars. He tells stories, double entendres, punchlines, whatever you need, Drake can get that to you. But let's stick to the topic. We get Kendrick's beef. But what's up with Drake and Travis? Don't these niggas click up on all the albums? Are these niggas fake friends? And see, I could believe that Drake and Travis fake friends. They do it for the songs, you know, putting Travis on the song. It gives you good numbers. Okay, that's cool. But when it comes to future, I thought it was a brotherhood. I thought these niggas was really brothers. I thought these niggas was really twins. That's the real mystery here. What's going on between Drake and Future? The niggas who gave us What A Time. The first Drake joint album. The first and the last Drake joint album. When has Drake ever did another joint album with another nigga? He only did it with his brother, his crudder, his twin, his broski, Future. Now, I need to let you know something, Future. If Drake pull out Russell Wilson and Sierra and have them in a video, nigga, you was asking for it. Drake, you might need to pull out Russell Wilson. And Sierra, because these niggas is talking greasy. I'm not trying to put the idea in Drake's head, but I'm just saying, you know, you know, sometimes it, it, it get it get it get serious like that. All right. Now. I know that Metro Boomin and Drake had their little back and forth about her loss and it went in that award. I talked about that in the video, too. And some people might say, well, Future's loyalty is to Metro Boomin first. So maybe that's where the beef, you know, like started from. But if you ask me, when I look at how close Drake and Future are, I think it had to be something internal. And then Future was like, you know what? You ain't fucking with that nigga. Let's get in the studio we going to come at this nigga because he pissed me off. And I feel like that's where it all really started. Unless you're going to tell me that Drake and Future was fake friends too. But I don't know. I feel like it had to be something internal between Drake and Future. It might have been over a bitch. It might have been over a girl. Because we know Drake and Future, they got that same pedigree when it comes to females. It might have been over a girl. This is how a lot of Drake beef start. Go back to the Meek and Drake beef. It was really about Nikki. Let's just keep it a thousand. The Joe Button and Drake beef. I heard it was about Tahiri. Let's just keep it a thousand. These Drake beefs always surround a female. We need answers, y'all. We need answers. I want y'all to tell me what y'all think about this. Y'all didn't think Never was going to get that deep. Yeah, nigga. You know, th this is enter this is max entertainment when you come here. If you're not subscribed and liking videos and sharing them, nigga, I don't know what your problem is. This is a fact. I only come with the facts. Let me know what y'all think about this. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I will see y'all next time. Peace.